This is the part two of unit one. Part two is the quantum theory and the electronic structure of atoms. So the wave not nature of light, light travels through space as waves. So wave is a distance that transmits energy through a medium. Electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy transmission through vacuum or a medium in which electric and magnetic fields are propagated as a wave. It carries energy through space and is therefore also known as radiant energy. So electromagnetic radiation is also called radiant energy. So here is a picture of an electromagnetic spectrum. So as you can see sa picture, ang sa taas is ang wavelength which has a unit of meter. Well, there is a obus is the frequency which has a unit of s to the negative one. So there is a spectrum na ang gamma rays, X rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwaves, and radio frequency. So naapod diri makita ninyo ng gamay ka ayos, gamay lang ka isa is the visible region. So visible region is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum within the wavelength range of 400 to 750 nanometer that we can perceive as color. So ang visible region colorful kaya siya. And you can also can see maiyahang color is the color of the rainbow with which is the Roy G B. So waves have the following characteristics: the wavelength, which is the lambda. It is the distance between two identical points of the wave. So, sa ato ang example, mo ni siya ang wavelength. While frequency is denotes as small letter V, it is the number of thrusts or crests that passes through a given point per unit of time. So, this is the frequency. Ang thrust daw or ang crest kaning ga paubos. So, mo na siya ang frequency. While amplitude denoted by capital letter A, it relates to the intensity of radiation. So, there is example, makita ninyo nga, unsa ka, ang amplitude is kung unsa ka intense ang wave. So, the relationship between wavelength and frequency, makita na to through this equation. It is the lambda or the frequency and the wavelength times V, which is the frequency, it is equal to C, where, where C is the speed of light. So, C is constant. So, it is always equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So, quantum theory. So, quantum theory states that matter absorbs or emits energy in bundles or quanta. So, it, the smallest amount of energy that can be emitted or absorbed as electromagnetic radiation is called quantum. So, si Albert Einstein nagpropose siya aning photoelectric effect na nag-state that a beam of electrons is produced when light strikes a thin metal surface. So, there is, uh, makita ninyo sa picture na ang light daw, kung makastrike siya o thin metal surface, mag-emit siya o electron. So, mo na ang photoelectric effect. So, light exists as a stream of particles called photons. So, ang light na diri is called photons nga na siya has a characteristic energy and the energy can be calculated using this equation. So, makita ninyo that energy is equal to H which is the Planck's constant which has a value of 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second and H times V which is frequency. So, freak, uh, um, balik na sa ato ang uh, equation ganiha. Diba, the relationship between frequency and wavelength is that it is equal to C. So, ma kung mag ato ning i-manipulate ng equation, na maghatag siya sa ato o equation na frequency is equal to C over lambda, which is the wavelength. So, pwede din nato siya i-substitute. There is sa ato ang equation, which is E equals HV. Pwede na siya ma E is equal to H times C over lambda, which is wavelength. Okay, so kung given ang, so kung dili given ang, fre ang frequency, but given ang wavelength, we can, we can already, we can already uh, calculate the energy. Okay, so as you can see in the equation, energy is proportional or directly proportional with frequency while energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength. Meaning, kung mudako si uh, frequency, 
Kung increase yung frequency mo, increase would be energy. Kaya directly proportional man sila. Based sa equation, di ba? But then, kung mo increase si wavelength, because they are inversely proportional, mo decrease si energy. So, kung mo decrease si wavelength, mo, mo decrease si wavelength, mo dako si energy. And vice versa, kay inversely proportional man sila. Again, kung mo increase si wavelength, mo gamay si energy. But kung mo decrease si wavelength, mo dako si energy. So, dual nature of matter, it is proposed by Louis de Broglie. It is the electron, is, it states that the electron can be imagined as, imagined as both particle, which has a mass, and a wave, it moves rapidly, and either of these two natures can become predominant at a given time. So, regent energy or, uh, or the electromagnetic radiation may be considered to consist of fluctuating electric and magnetic fields which travel through space in a wave-like motion. So, ang regent energy can be described in two ways. Number one is waves of photons which possesses a wave-like properties. And number two, it can be described as stream of photons which possesses particle-like properties. So quantum mechanics was developed to describe the motion of sub-microscopic particles confined to tiny regions of space. So si Heisenberg na proposed sa, sa siya of uncertainty principle. So iyahang principle is that it is impossible to determine accurately both the exact position and momentum of a particle simultaneously. So, ang principle or ang nag-propose ni Heisenberg itawag ang uncertainty principle. So, ang iyang ginamin sa uncertainty principle is that imposible daw na to mabalaan accurately ang position o ang momentum sa particle. So, si Erwin Schrodinger, he developed a differential equation that allows us to, define, to find the electron's wave function. So, which ultimately allows us to determine the probability of finding the electron in a given, given place. So, si Schrodinger nag-develop siya of differential equation o gitawag niya wave function. So, kanang electron's wave function, diha na to, diha na to ma-determine ang probability na makita na to ang electron. Okay. So quantum numbers, it is, the, it is a dimensionless number which completely describes the state of an electron. So there are four quantum numbers, describes the distribution and behavior of electrons in atoms. And each wave function corresponds to a set of three quantum numbers and is referred to as an atomic orbital. So always remember that an orbital is the particular space that is most probably where an electron is found. So in yung naon na on nga dira sa orbital dira na to makita ang electron. So the first quantum number. So as I have mentioned ganiha, there are four quantum numbers, and the first three quantum numbers ang nagsuggest ana it is Erwin Schrödinger. So the first principal quantum number is denoted by n. It describes the distance between the nucleus and the shell. Also describes the energy level of the shell as n increases, the energy of the electron increases, and is therefore less tightly bound to the nucleus. So the principal quantum number n can have integral values of 1, 2, 3, and etc. So uh, para inyo ha nga ma-imagine ang principal quantum number, ingon siya diri that it describes the distance between the nucleus and the shell. Always remember ha, ang electron ang gina-describe gina diri, ang ginapangita diri. So, ingon si principal quantum number, ang n, or which is the n, so it describes the distance between the nucleus and the shell. So, example, example lang nga kani ang shell, di ba? So, yung one pod niya diri nga, ang n can have an integral values of 1, 2, 3, etc. So, ato ni mutang, this is 1, this is 2. So, mauna siya ang n. So, mauna siya ang shell, number such shell. O, yung one sa diri, that as n increases, the energy of the electron increases. So, meaning, si 2, mas nako siya og energy compare kang 1. But, 
it is ang C2 is light, less tightly bound to the nucleus. Ano man, mas layo naman siya compare kang 1. So, C2 has a higher energy level than 1. So, kung naapay ikatulod din nga circle, so C3 na siya ay higher energy compare kang 2 kay compare kang 1. Pero, mas less tightly bound siya kang nucleus. Kaya mas layo naman siya sa nucleus. So, muna ang quantum number. Nga principal quantum number. Next quantum number is azimuthal quantum number. It is denoted by L. So, L na siya. So, it defines the shape of the orbital. Again, shape of the orbital. So, it describes the energy level of the subshells. It has an integral value starting from 0 to n minus 1. Again, from 0 to n minus 1. So, natin mga example diri. So, kung you are, you, are, you are given with an n of 2, so, ang quantum number ni mo, or azimuthal quantum number ni mo, is from 0 to n minus 1. So, kung 2 ato ang n, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So, ang imong quantum number is from 0 to 1. So, imong, kung 2 imong n, na akay azimuthal na 0 o 1. Okay? So, there is a table... Every L values has a symbol and has a shape. Napod siya number of orbitals. So, ang 0 is S. 1 is P, 2 is D, 3 is F. Tapos, ilang shape is, and there is, spherical, dumbbell, 4 log, o 8 log. So, makita ninyo later. So, again, what ang orbital is the particular space that is most probably where an electron can be found. So, dira na to makita sa orbital ang electron. So, for example, inyo lang imagine nga ang orbital is like a square. A square. So, kani si L values na 0 na siya isa ka orbital. So, isa lang siya ka square or sa mana, rectangle. While si L values nga 1 na siya symbol nga P na siya tulo. So, tulo po ka orbital meaning tulo po ka rectangle. So, si D na siya lima, so lima po ka rectangle. So, lima yung orbital. Okay? So, si S, diri makita that iyahad ang shape is spherical. So, marara siya julin, iba, circle, si S. Unang na siya isa ka orbital, kaya maura man ni iyang pwede nga shape sa zero. Next is si P orbital. So, ingon diri na siya, mura siya o dumbbell. So, Siya dumbbells. So, na siya ay tulo. Mga possible na shape. So, mo nang tulo po di yung nga orbital. And then, si D. Sa so, si D, four lobe. So, na siya ay one, two, three, four, five. So, mo nang five po di yung orbital. Inaman siya ay five ka shapes. O si F, na siya ay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So, makita ninyo nga 7 po yung orbitals. Siya 8 low. Okay? So, next quantum number is magnetic quantum number. Nga, denote siya as M uh, yung subscript L. Meaning, L is azimuthal quantum number. So, it determines the spatial orientation of an orbital or the axis or planes to which the orbital is oriented. So, naapod siya integral value of plus L to 0 to negative L. Okay. So, last is the spin quantum number na gidenote sa siya nga M subscript S. So, it describes the direction of spin of an electron about its own axis. Okay, sorry. So, ang MS na lang yun siya value na negative one half and positive one half. So, ingon siya direction of spin. So, kung negative one half ka, Counter, counter clockwise. But kung positive one half, it is clockwise. So, mabalaan na na ninyo. Ato lang na magamit ang spin quantum number sa next na, sa next na to nga. Hindi next nga lesson, but sa sunod-sunod next. Ani. Okay. So, this, these are the quantum numbers. Again, N, 
has an integral of 1, 2, 3, 4. L values, again, ito ang L values, na siya possible siya from 0 to n minus 1. Diba? n minus 1. So, kung, for example, gihatagan kag n is equal to 4. So, ang L ni mo is from 0 to n minus 1. So, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, imuhang L values is from 0 to 3. Tapos, kabala na naman na to sa ilahang ha, ilang nga symbol. So, munang ginatawag na subshell designation. So, kung ang symbol sa 0 is S, 1 is P, 2 is D, 3 is F. Para na sa L values ha, iyahang nga symbol. So, munang ginatawag og subshell designation. So, CML values, diba, yung integral code is from neg positive L to 0 to negative L. So, munang kung naakay L na 3, naapod kay from 3 to 1, 0 to negative 3. So, kanita nan, mo ni siya ang imong isulat kang 4. Kung n is equal to 4. Kung dili siya specific na maghatag na unsa si L, unsa si ML. So, mo na tanan nga imong ihatag kang 4. So, ang number pod of orbitals, so nakita na ni ninyo, si 0 na siya 1. 1, 3, 5, 7. So, meaning, total number of orbitals in subshell. So, i-add din tanan, that is 16. I-add din for 3, muna lang 9. Diba? Okay. So, for example, give the subshell designation. So, kung sa man ang 3 o 1, given tag 3, given ta o L na 1, so that is 3, Ba SPDF, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. SPDF. Okay, so, 1 man siya, so SP. So, 3, P, dapat ang answer dire. So, given taog, 2, 0. So, ang 0 is S. So, meaning 2, S. Dire, 4, 3. SPD. So, 3 is D. So, 4, D. Okay. So, electronic configuration. So, it is the arrangement of electrons in the orbital of an atom. So, it is described by a number that designates the number of principal shell, a letter that designates the subshell, and a superscript that designates the number of electrons in that particular subshell. So, here is an example of, in, uh, of an electronic configuration. So, kung given kani, 2P4. So, ingon siya diri, ang electronic configuration ga describe siya to low. A number. Kani nga number, ga describe siya sa number of principal shell. So, naa siya sa second shell. So, ang next is, gahatag daw siya og letter na ga designate sa subshell. Meaning, naa siya sa P subshell. Tapos, si 4, mo daw na siya ang asin superscript, mo na siya ang number of electrons. So meaning, ani na siya'y upat ka electrons. And so on. Same with 3D8. So, there are guidelines in writing an electronic configuration. So, first is Akbao principle or other is building up principle. So, iyahang states that electrons are distributed in orbitals of increasing energy. Energy levels where the lowest energy orbitals are filled first. Once an orbital has the maximum number of electrons it can hold, it is considered filled. Remaining electrons must then be placed into the next highest energy orbital and so on. So, ang ingon Afbao principle, unahon sa yun daw, unahon sa ni mo og field or sulod ang electrons sa pinaka-low nga energy level. Okay? So, so for example, si 1S, diri, ay, so for example, si electron dapat sa ni mo ibutang pang 1S ay ha ka makabutang pang 2S. So, kung mapuno na po daw ni si 1S, ang tawag ana sa iya ha, field. Field orbital. So, the remaining electrons must be placed into the next higher, uh, higher energy 
orbital. Okay, so kung mapuno na si 1s o electrons, dapat sa sunod ka nga orbital or next highest energy orbital, dito po ka magsulod. So, dili ka pwede nga lugar na, sul na sudla na ni mo si 1s, mulukso ka diritso kang 3s. Dili po na pwede. Or kung napulo, napuno na si 1s, mo diritso ka kang 2p. Dili na pwede. Base kang asbaw principle or sa building up principle. So, you should memorize or familiarize this diagram. Kung dili pwede ani, o kani, na ay na ay less than nga sign kung dili kani so magsulat ka 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 paubos tapos arrow 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 so diha man ang sundo nimo nga dapat si 1s una ay si 2s si 2p si 3s si 3p si 4s si 3d and so on mo na si asbaw or building up principle unahon sa nimo og feel sa electrons ang lowest energy level ay kamulok so the next nga energy level or energy log orbital. Next guideline is the Pauli's exclusion principle. So, ingon siya, no two electrons in the same atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers. So, dilig daw pwede na naay duha ka electron sa sulod sa same nga atom nga naa siya parihas o quantum numbers. Katong upat ka quantum numbers. Dilig daw na siya Pwede. Mauna si, mauna ang giingon ni Pauli's exclusion principle. So, the maximum number of electron in an orbital is limited to two. So, sa isa ka orbital, pwede lang is duha ka electron. And the two electrons in the same orbital must have opposite signs. Okay, again, ingon si Pauli's exclusion principle, dili pwede nga magkaparihas o quantum numbers ang duha ka electron. So, mauna ang ingon sa diri, must have uh, da ang duha ka electrons nga sulod sa isa ka or orbital must have opposite sign. So makita ninyo diri na musulod si um, last nga last nga quantum number. So si spin quantum number. So for example sa sa ani na kay 1s nga orbital. Ang 1s orbital has a only one orbital. Na asya 1 orbital. So, ang isa ka orbital, ang iyaha lang mahog, ang masulod ra sa iyaha is only two electrons. So, possible, kay duha man, so pwede, for example, kaning arrow, mo na ang electron, for example lang. So, pwede daw ni mo ibutang ang electron na parehas o spin, so pataas, so puro clockwise. Or, pwede pa, both, both paubos, diba? Both counter clockwise. Pero, ingon man si Pauli's exclusion principle, dili dapat sila parihas ang set sa quant four quantum numbers. That is why, ni sulod si um, spin quantum number, which has a positive one half and negative one half. So, same silag n, sa isa ka orbital ha, sa sulod sa isa ka orbital na ay duha ka electron. So, same sila og n, same silag l, same sila ML, pero different sila og MS. Na ay plus, which is clockwise, and na ay minus, which is counterclockwise. So, ba na ang giingon ni Pauli's exclusion principle? Diba? Okay. So, for example, gitagaan tag hydrogen. So, ang hydrogen has one electron. So, dito siya first, of course, dito siya first sa lowest energy level, which is one. And na ang one is na asay L value or azimuthal value nga zero only. Kaya di ba? L value n minus, zero to n minus one. Nga. One minus one is zero. So na asay L value nga zero. And zero has a symbol of S. So na asya sa S orbital. And na asay isa ka electron. So na isa ka electron. Isa ka arrow. Next example is helium. So, ang helium na siya'y duha ka electrons. So, ang proper nga pagsulat sa electrons sa orbital is, ingon si Wallis Exclusion, dili man sila dapat magkaparehas o four quantum, set of four quantum numbers. So, mga dapat opposite sign sila. And next is beryllium. So, na siya'y upat ka electron, 
valence electron or el electrons. So, na-fill niya ang 1s. So, lukso siya sa 2s. Tapos, 4 man. So, plus 2 sa 2s. Next, principle. Uh, so, in one si Pauli's exclusion principle, an orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. Again, an orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. So, ang S, pwede siyang two. Diba? Kaya si S na lang siya one orbital. So, pwede siyang duha ka electrons. Si P, na siya ito low ka orbital. So, pwede siya og six ka electrons. Si D, pwede na siya ay 5 co-orbitals. Munang pwede siya 10. Si F, na siya ay 7 orbitals. So, na siya ay 14 ka-electrons. So, so, next rule is Hans rule. So, ingon si Hans rule, every orbital in a subshell or degenerate orbital, same energy, is occupied with one electron first before any one or any one orbital is double filled and all electrons in singly occupied orbitals have the same spin. The most stable arrangement of electrons in subshell has the greatest number of parallel spins and to do this, distribute electrons with the same spin up or down and do not pair electrons until all subshells have an electron. So, ang giingwan ni Hans rule, kinahanglan, for example, uh, na akay na kay electrons, dapat i-feel sa nimo uh, for example, gihatagan ka o P, P orbital. So, na siya ito low ka orbitals. So, ingon si Hans rule, dapat i-muha i sang i-feel. Ang tulo, ayha ni mo siya i- ayha ni mo siya i-pair. Or ayha ni mo i- ayha ni mo siya i-duha. Uh, sige na, example diri. So, for example, the electron configuration of carbon. So, ang electron configuration is 1 squared, 2 squared, 2 p squared. So, na siya ay 2, 4, 6 ka electrons. Okay? So, si 1s, puno na. Na siya ay 2 ka electrons. So, puno siya. Si 2s, na po siya ay 2 ka electrons. So, puno na siya. So, 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 si 2p2, na lang siya ay 2 ka electrons. So, Ingon si Hans rule, ang imuhang pagsulat or pagbutang sa electron dapat dili inani. So dapat dili po inani. So dapat inani. So imusang i-fill ang tanan orbitals ay iha ka mubalik o fill sa uban. Okay, so dili pwede inani that because Para mas stable. So, ingon si Hans rule, mas stable daw ang, naloob, the most stable arrangement of electrons in subshells has the greatest number of parallel spins. Okay? So, muna ang rule ni Hans. So, Hans rule, dapat sa i-fill ni Mutanan orbitals, balag tag-isa sa sila ka-electron, ay ha ni mo balikan o duha ka-electron. So, muna ang rule ni Hans. So, this is the diagram of some elements. So, naa kay electronic configuration na 1, S2, sa sodium, 11. Sige naman ni, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 iyang electrons. So, na-fill na si 1S. So, naa siya'y duha. Na-fill po si 2S. So, naa siya'y duha. So, si 2P6 na-fill sa siya o electrons. Diba? Na-fair siya. O na siya 3S1. So, for example, kanisi uh, kanisi kanisi nitrogen. Diba? Wala siya gi parihas ani na i-fill sa ang first na orbital. So, dapat i-fill sa tag-sa-tag sa ang orbital ay haka pwede mag-fill sa magbalik o fill sa, sa orbital. So, that is the Hans rule. So, valence electrons is the outer shell electron. So, for example, kani, ang outer shell is 3, di ba? So, ang iyahang electron is only 1. So, moon lang na ang iyang valence electron. Okay? So, the, uh, since as uh, sa, for example, ang neon, sila iyang valence electron, di ba? Ngun, ang, ngun diri, ang valence electron is the electron sa outer nga shell. So, 
Ang cell lang sa neon is 1 o 2. So, ang outer cell, of course, is 2. So, pila man iyahang valence electron na siya 2 plus 6. So, that is 8. Kung isoelectronic are the atoms or ions of different elements that have the same electronic configuration. So, for example, sa isoelectronic has O2 minus F minus Na, neon, sodium plus Mg2 plus. So, kana sila tanan na ana sila same nga electronic configuration. O, ang tawag ana sa ilaha is isoelectronic atoms or ions. So, magnetic behavior is the effect of mag magnetic field on an atom. So, ginatawag siya o diamagnetism kung atoms with completely paired electrons which are slightly affected by magnetic field. So, kung, kung completely paired electrons sulod sa orbital, ginatawag siya o diamagnetism. Para magnetism is the atoms with unpaired electrons which are greatly affected by magnetic field. Okay, so uh, writing electrons configura electron configurations using the periodic table. So kung na may periodic table, uh, makita ninyo nga tanan sa group 1 and 2 is puro S, ang ilang last. While there is uh, from, group, from group 3 to group 8, puro P, na sila sa P orbitals. While imuhang metals, or there is a uh, B, group B, na siya D, na mga transition, met transition metals ni mo, is F, or F block metals na siya F. Dayon ang period, which is the row, ang paana, group is, is vertical, period is horizontal, so ang period diha pod imuhang energy levels or imong principal uh, quantum number. Okay, so abbreviated electron configuration. Since noble gases are at the end of each row in the periodic table, all of their electrons are in field orbitals. Such electrons are called core electrons since they are most stable or less reactive. So, when they belong to completely filled orbitals. So, ingon siya diri, ang completely filled orbitals are, are less reactive or more stable. Ba? So, ang mga noble gases have completely filled orbitals. So, what are the noble gases? So, ni sila diri, ang group 8A. Muna ang noble gases. Kay nga naman, they are, feel, they are most stable and their orbitals are completely filled. So, noble gas core notation. So, noble gas electron configuration can be used to abbreviate the core electrons of all elements. So, money siya ang mga electronic configuration sa mga noble gases. Okay? So, our example, so not an example theory, give the noble gas core notation of the following elements. Iron, sa metal. So, naa siya derivative. So, ato siyang iyahang electronic configuration is this one. So, naa siya taman siya sa 3 nga shell, energy level, tapos naa siya d orbital, di ba? Ang d orbital, makakater siya of uh, 5. 5 orbitals. Meaning, kung 5 orbitals, naa siya 10 ka electrons. But, iyahang electron is Ah, monitanan electrons, but iyang valence electron is 6, meaning wala na fill ang last nga orbital. So, kulang siya og 4 para ma-fill. So, atong gamitan siya og noble gas core notation. So, gamitan na itong noble gas. So, ang makita ninyo nga si iron ni Agi siya before si iron, si iron, di ba ni Agi siya kang argon? Kay pasu Pasunod man po ng electro, electronic configuration. So, ni, so uh, ni Agi siya kang argon. So, mo nang si argon na siya electronic configuration. Taman kang 3P6. So, makita ninyo si iron taman siya 3D6. So, kanin siya nga electronic configuration ni iron. Pwede siya ilisan o argon. 
So, ang sobra, dayon ang isumpay. So, muna ang pag, pag noble gas core notation. So, another example, si cadmium. Si cadmium, ahaman si cadmium, na si cadmium diri. So, ang niagi sa iya ha, nga noble gas is krypton. So, inana na lang dali. So, si krypton. Pangitaon din ninyo kung aha, taman si krypton. Diba? One period para mabala ni mo ang energy level. One, two, three, four. So, taman siya four. Dayon, base ani nga, base ani, tanan nga na adiri sa group four, a uh, group three, A to group eight, A, except kang except kang helium na asya P. Na asya sa P orbital. So, therefore, na, si crypto na asya 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, P, sama ng P. Diba? 6. So, 4, P, 6. So, at ang tanawin B, kung pila ang koan ni crypto, diba? Yang last is 4, P, 6. So, imo din tanawin, ang electronic configuration sa cadmium is taman 10. So, Krypton, gikan sa 1s2 pa dulong 3p 4p6 si Krypton. So imong ilisa no Krypton. So ang nibilin imong isumpay which is 4d10 and 5s2. Next is uh, AU. Unsa may AU? That is gold. Gold. So si gold na siya diri sa almost the last so, yang naagian is xenon. So, pila man ang electronic configuration ni xenon. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, naa siya 5. Ika 5th siya nga energy level. So, 5. Again, tanan kani, tanan ani nga from group 3A to group 8A naa siya sa P orbital. So, xenon 4 P 6 nga. Ang noble gases is uh, field orbital. So, 5P6. So, taman siya, diri, di, tanaw na itong ang correct. O, oh, diba? 5P6 yung last. So, ang gold has a electronic electronic configuration in any. So, pangitaon niyo mo si 5P6, muna yung ilisan o xenon. And then, ang sobra, imuha siyang isumpay diri. So, maulang na siya ang pag-write sa gamit ang noble gas core notation. Okay, so that ends our discussion para sa part 2.